Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Hoosier State Fishing. My name's Derek. And uh, today, well, today there is no agenda. I really just wanted to get out here in this, this nice 32 degree weather to really just test out this cheap, or well, I should say inexpensive little ultralight pole that I picked up. Got a little mule jig tied on. I think it's a 1 16th ounce maybe. And I also wanted to test out my new uh, GoPro Hero 9. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're at a little local creek here right by my house. Really, really shallow, but we're gonna be fishing for just whatever wants to bite, if anything. I just really just wanna test out this little ultralight fishing combo and my new GoPro Hero 9. So without further ado, let's try to do some fishing. So one, one key thing that's, that's gonna come in clutch today is since it's so cold, is this thing right here. And I may have shown you this before. I'll try to get a better view of it. Hopefully that shows up, but I think it's made by a company called Opros. And what that is, it's just a little belt attachment. Uh, and it's mainly for fly fishing gear or for fly fishing rods, but it also fits conventional. And it's gonna allow me to set that right in there, just like so. You take this little elastic band, boom, boom. And that allows you to walk hands-free in the creek. And I can keep my little cold phalanges up in this little neoprene pouch right here since I don't have gloves. And that's gonna allow me to uh, stay as warm as possible while we search for deeper holes try to slay some some chubs creek chubs that is stay tuned we're just gonna look for some deeper holes and try to see if we can catch something you know little little creek chubs little pan fish i have no idea we're just gonna walk until we get too cold and head back to the house but yeah guys this little o pros rod attachment for your belt is really really nice allows you to walk with your hands keeping your hands nice and warm so they'll be nice and ready to make a cast but uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna try to find some deep holes and we're gonna get to it. Here we go, this is a nice little, nice little deep spot we can try. I'm just using a little four pound uh, test. It's fluorocarbon coated mono. I think I overdid it and I put too much on. I already ripped off probably 20 yards or so, but I think I still might have too much on there. So we're gonna give it a shot, see what happens here. It's a little two piece rod. This is an Okuma Stratus 5, I get. I don't know. I found it at Dick's. It's a little uh, five six or no, 5.6 light action, or light power fast action, and it's uh, rated for uh, 1 16th to 3 8 ounce. So you could even throw Ned rigs on this if you wanted to. It's handling this little 1 16th ounce mule jig just fine. All right, nothing here, let's keep going. Really kind of limited on time here, so. Oh, there you go, look at there. There's what we're catching today, guys. Oh yeah. Come on, don't do the, oh, the Indiana Jones wrap. Let's see if we can get it, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we wrapped it. We Indiana Jonesed it. If anything else, guys, maybe you'll get some entertainment out of this video. Just by way of uh, me being a shit show. All righty, let's get a move on. So this is what we're doing, guys. I'm just gonna go through here and just, any little deep holes that I can find, I'm gonna fish them. Oh dude, oh my God. Oh yeah, it's done. Okay, that's when you know it's time to replace. I'm not getting that, it's too. <sighs> line's good. Good, it broke at the knot. I can see there's no line hanging from the tree. I'm gonna check my line and retie. Stay tuned. Okay, we got some more deep water here. A little bit of a longer stretch. Oh no. God, I suck at casting this thing. Well, I'm still trying to get this casting thing down. I may have spoken too soon about this. I mean, it says 1 16th. And that's what the weight this little marabou jig is, but it's not really casting this thing all that well. It doesn't uh, load up very well when you go to make your cast. So 1 16th might be just a little bit too uh, light, but it's doable. Looks here like we've got this little, <laughs> looks like we've got a wastewater treatment plant. So that's, that's great. But uh, here's some deeper water here we might try. I mean, we're just, you know, we're just trying everything today. Hell, I might cast this thing into the, one of them shit tanks. Might be some three-eyed bass in there or something. Some doo-doo trout. You never know, man. Oh yeah, see, there's a there's a warm water outlet right there. I wonder if, if there's a deeper water past that pipe. That'd be pretty cool. I can smell the uh, detergent that they use, or whatever you call it. I can smell this. It doesn't smell bad. It smells like shampoo, honestly. And I can smell that water they're letting out. It might be heated. We'll go check it out. How's the video stabilization on this Hero 9, guys? Comment below. Let me know how it looks. I'm pretty excited about it. I've been rocking the GoPro Hero 5 Black for, I mean, ever since I started my channel. Oh my God, that looks disgusting. Do not enter. 
This seems like one of those videos where the title would be like, cops called, fishing a wastewater treatment plant. Cops called, new PB, new PB from a, from a effluence pipe. Oh. Crack myself up. Smash that like button, baby. Here we go, I found a new title for my video. Fishing a Kroger spillway for giant creek chubs. Oh man, new PB. Gotta include the new PB. Oh my gosh, is that where it lives, Pennywise? Tell you what, if you tell me there's free tackle in there, I'll go in there. Thought I had a fish on just now. Come on, chubs, there's gotta be something in here. We're running low on time, man. The sun goes down in 30 minutes. I have not had any luck, guys. I came here with low expectations anyway, so it's, oh, yes. Oh, straight up thought that was a fish, dude. That stick hit just like a fish, man, I'm not kidding. Please let me get that back. Can I please have that back? Hello. Yeah, I'm not getting that back. That's okay, I'm gonna break it off. Oh, man, that's some strong line. All right, let's retie. I'm gonna try that spot one more time. See if that stick wants to hit again. Yeah, I'm having kind of a hard time feeling this thing on the end of my line here, so I don't know what's going on there. I think, like I said, I think this 1 16th might just be a little bit too, too light. I think I'm gonna go a little bit further though, to see if we can find some deeper water. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I feel like if we, if we ever had a chance, or if ever we had a chance at catching fish, it would be up here, because this is, all this stuff up here is like super, super calm and uh, pretty deep for the most part. So I know I'm gonna be walking back in the dark already, so it is what it is. But this is a pretty decent, deep little part of the creek right up here. And I'm, I'm clearly out of breath because I'm out of shape. So hit the like button for that. Hit the like button for sounding like Mark Wahlberg and the Transformer Heavy Breathing. What's this right here? Another little spillway? Completely frozen, but we'll cast it in there. You never know. You know, I mean, we gave it our best. I mean, what, what more can you do? <clears throat> We came out here to test products. Ultralight fishing, it's in my future. Stay tuned for more videos. The one thing that does kind of scare me is that the park where I parked my car closes at, at, at dusk. I'm just hoping I don't get towed. That would be bad. There's gotta be a fish up in here, man. That, that looks golden. Whew, I'll tell you what, I am sweating like crazy. That felt like a fish. Yep, oh, dude, I was getting hit. There's, there's fish in here. All right, let's go. I can't get skunked, come on. Not on the first GoPro Hero 9 video, my first ultralight video. Oh, that was a hit. Guys, that was a hit. Another hit. Yep. Ugh, missed him again. There's something's tapping me. Why do my vo videos always come down to the to the dark? I'm always catching fish right at dark, right when the, the video quality is terrible. Oh, there was there's the fish right there. I see him. Little suckers, I think. I'm just working this thing like a little Ned rig. Yep, there was a fish. Oh man, dude, they're smoking it. I'm getting smoked. Sorry if the light quality is terrible, man. I'm I'm gonna be walking home in the dark if it's any constellation, so. All right, so these are just some little Bobby Garland, little crappie jigs, but they've got like a garlic kind of scent to them. Maybe that'll help these fish hold on better, whatever they are. I think they're big suckers, honestly, but yep, there was a hit. Got him, guys, yes, yes! Can't let him get away. Oh, it's a big creek chub, cool, cool. Gotcha, 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 nope. Oh my God, he's so cold and slippery. Oh my God. Success. Little, little creek chub, man. They've got just such a little rubbery mouth, man. Look at him. <laughs> Let's get this hook out of him and get him back in the water. There we go. All right, peace out, Mr. Chub. You'll make it, come on. Wake up, wake up, there he goes. You know, we came out here, we didn't exactly slay the chubs, but I don't know, man. I mean, we'll leave that to the guys in the army. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>